Uh, hello students, uh, welcome to this particular lecture. Uh, so this is the, you know, I, I, the title is the approximate multiplier designs using uh, the approximate adders. Uh, it, and in the sense it is kind of novel because I think uh, this is the first time I think uh, uh, we have designed this. Uh, we in the sense uh, I and my students, uh, the research students have worked on this and then uh, developed this novel approximate multiplier designs using the approximate adders, right? In the last lecture, what we had seen is an approximate multiplier design using uh, the approximate compressors. Here, we are using making using of the adders itself for uh, the partial products addition, right? And I think the, the reference paper can be taken from this. In, in, uh, so I have uh, you know, put the reference paper. Uh, uh, the title is Novel Approximate Multiplier Design for the Edge Detection Application. And then uh, this is uh, available in the, uh, in the proceedings. So let's uh, take a look into the approximate adders itself. So, so what we have used is OLOCA adder, which is nothing but optimized lower part constant or adder. Uh, it is pretty simple in the sense that, uh, uh, you know, there are two parts, two components to this particular adder. One is the MSB side, uh, and then the another one is the LSB side, right? So if I have a 16 bit adder or an eight bit adder, so the four bits of the of the adder is kind of uh, segmented into the LSB side and then the remaining four bits could be considered as the MSB side. In the LSB sides, uh, you know, except uh, the two uh, bits, the two MSB bits, the two, uh, uh, the two most significant bits in the inaccurate part in the LSB side, uh, we will have an OR gate. The other set of uh, bits here can be directly considered as a, a constant one. Right, so that's why it is called as a constant, uh, you know, and then an OR gate. So what we uh, what what we are saying is, uh, you know, if I have an eight bit here, uh, a eight, uh, a seven, a six, five, and then four, three, two, and one, and if if it gets added with another b uh, b uh, a to b one here, right. So what we are saying is uh, irrespective of whatever the value is a2 and a1 or b2 and b1 we will consider it to be directly a constant one here and then uh, these two bits addition here uh, what we can do is we can uh, do an instead of an XOR operation here to get the addition done we directly use a4 uh, or with that of b4 and a3 or with that of uh, b3 to get the result so this is an or output and uh, the remaining uh, four bits, we can consider it to be an accurate adder, right? So this is an exact adder uh, where we can use the carry ripple full adder design or any of the faster adder designs. Uh, the, the first four bits, we can make it an approximate adders, right? Uh, this one, uh, the diagram here represents that the, 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 the bit here, the, uh, the least significant bit in the accurate portion of the adder. Right, since there is no carry output here, there is nothing like that. Uh, so we, we use uh, the half adder here and then the carry out of the half adder again gets propagated or the carry here propagated to the carry ripple adder uh, using the full adder designs here, right? In the remaining three parts of the accurate uh, addition part. Right, in the uh, inaccurate portion uh, on the lower LSP side, uh, everything is one here except the two bits. The two bits output will be nothing but coming from the OR gate output. Right, so it is pretty simple in the sense that uh, we don't use any kind of a gates uh, in, in this lower portion and then we use only the OR gates instead of an AND gate or an XOR gate. Right, so the hardware uh, in terms of the area or the power of the dealer uh, can be, uh, you know, can be benefited a lot using this particular uh, uh, the adder uh, approximate adder design. The next uh, approximate adder design is hardware optimized approximate adder with normal error distribution. Here also it has been uh, segmented or divided into two portions. One is the accurate portion, the other one is the in inaccurate portion. In the, uh, you know, except the two bits here, all other portions, all other bits uh, coming out from the inaccurate adder is actually uh, considered as one. These two MSB bits, uh, so is is uh, getting from you know the the SL minus two, the sum coming from this second bit, second most significant bit, uh, is nothing but coming from an OR and then uh, from an OR gate here. So this is basically an OR representation, very very similar to that of the OLOCA adder. Uh, but it's you know the AND gate is there, which will help it in carrying uh, you know carry forward. So this AND gate represents the carry out of the addition of these two bits 
A and B in the second the most significant bit in the inaccurate portion. So this particular carry out is put into, uh, into this particular portion of the design. And if I consider this particular portion of the design, it is actually uh, uh, the exact adder. It's basically a full adder design. Uh, although it uses a multiplexer to make it a little bit more faster. And then, uh, you know, the uh, A and B will give me the carry out signal, which will be fed into the accurate portion. So remember that in an OLOCA, there was no carry out coming from the inaccurate portion and fed to the accurate portion. So that was not at all there. And uh, we had two OR gates here. Here, uh, you know, the first, uh, the most significant portion, the most significant bit in the inaccurate portion is having a full adder design. A little bit more hardware, uh, hardware is there compared to that of the OLOC design. So what we should expect is, of course, we will expect an approximate value because the in the inaccurate portion we have use some of the bits directly uh, considered to be one and uh, you know this one is an OR gate so it is not an XOR gate so there will be uh, you know inaccurate results but it should be closer to the uh, accurate results of an exact adder and because we have uh, utilized little bit more gates here so the power area and delay of the uh, this particular adder HOANED which is a hardware optimized approximate adder with normal error distribution for this particular adder, it will be slightly more than that of the previous OLOCA adder. Right, so if I use this particular, uh, you know, two proposed adders, uh, two uh, approximate adders into a multiplier, we will get the approximate multiplier. And if I actually do an 8 by 8 bit multiplication using these two bit adders, uh, then uh, this is the results we are likely to get. The absolute error, the mean absolute error and uh, the root mean square error. Uh, turns out to, to be that, uh, you know, this particular, the second approximate adder is giving the lower results compared to that of the, the first approximate adder. And uh, rightly so, because the, the second approximate adder was, you know, even in the inaccurate part, the, the, the most significant bit was giving the right results. Right. So as, you know, uh, as compared to the uh, OLOSC adder, where we had only the OR gates in the, in the most significant bit of the uh, inaccurate adder. Right. So in that sense, we, are, we were expecting a, uh, the, the second approximate adder, which is HOANED, to give us the results closer to the accurate value. So thereby the error values are reduced. In terms of the error distribution, we can see that uh, the OLOCA uh, has sli slightly more width here compared to the HOANED, which is very, very sharp. And the accurate results are has a density more. Uh, and here also in the OLOCA, the, the density of the accurate results is more. So, uh, the width is slightly uh, more in the sense that the OLOC adder was, has, has an error ranging from 258 to 15 and HOANED has an error ranging from minus 46 to 36. And the way we uh, design this particular error distribution and then the error rate is, uh, you know, for an 8-bit multiplier, we can have 256 combinations multiplied by 256. So uh, out of all these combinations, Right, what is the error we are getting and then uh, get the statistics, uh, you know, uh, if we have all these particular values, uh, compare that with that of the accurate or an exact values and whatever is the error and then we actually define the statistics of the error. And whatever is the error, we can actually plot it uh, in terms of the probability distribution. So in terms of the design characteristics, right? So if I use the 45 nanometer technology CMOS uh, standard cell library, and if I use it, uh, you know, a regular ASIC process where it is one volts and then 25 degrees Celsius, uh, if the temperature is uh, configured in such sense uh, and in the simulation. So the critical path delay, the silicon area, and then the power are calculated using the cadence uh, genus, uh, genus flow, then we will get this kind of an uh, statistics. So the array multiplier, which is an exact multiplier, takes around this particular values, whereas an approximate multiplier uh, defined or driven by OLOC adder is giving us much, much reduced results. So 855 compared to 1000, uh, 278 compared to 384, and 42.95 as the microwatts compared to 56.96. HOANED, which is an approximate adder, again, which if we use it to uh, design our approximate multiplier using the this particular adder, uh, the results are much better compared to the exact multiplier, but you know the results are slightly higher here. Uh, all the three parameters, hardware analysis parameters, are more than that of uh, uh, the OLOC adder in the sense that we know that there are a little bit more gates that have been involved in the inaccurate portion, especially in the 
uh, the MSB part of the uh, inaccurate adder portion and thereby it is likely to give us uh, slightly more uh, uh, hardware parameters. Right, so no, approximate multiplier as such, it, it, uh, it is very, very useful in some of the image processing application and uh, one such image processing application is identifying uh, the edges. So edge detection algorithm and then canny edge detection is one such uh, very, very popularly used algorithm. It involves a few steps. One is the Gaussian smoothening, another is the finding the gradients uh, and then the non-maximum separation. So, and then the hysteresis uh, threshold. So the Gaussian smoothing is where I think the multiplier will be heavily used. And if I, if I use those two approximate, uh, you know, the, the multiplier designs, uh, this is what the results we get. You know, the original results, this is the original image of uh, a cameraman. And exact multiplier, if I use uh, to build the Gaussian uh, you know, smoothing and the, all the other steps to get the canny edge detection, we will get this particular uh, image, right? And uh, using the approximate multiplier, uh, using the OLOCA adder, we'll get this particular uh, image uh, that's been rendered and using the approximate you know, multiplier using the, or the multiplier design using the approximate uh, adder here of this particular type, we will get this particular image, right? So looking at those particular images, not much is large. You know, what we are comparing is this particular image. Uh, we have to compare with uh, this particular image and then this particular image. Right, so the HOANED, you know, it shows everything very, very similar to that of what is there in the exact multiplier. Even uh, this particular uh, portion, it's kind of showing it properly. Whereas the OLOCA has little bit of errors and that is kind of uh, intuitive in the sense the OLOCA uses much more approximation in terms of the gate designs. Whereas the HOANED uh, uses a little bit more gate designs to bring, uh, you know, the, the, uh, to bring the results closer to the accurate ones. Right. So HOANED uh, multiplier is actually preferred in terms of, uh, you know, the error characteristics uh, and uh, but in terms of the area delay and the power, the OLOCA multiplier is a little bit more preferred. So if I want to actually get into the, uh, you know, uh, compare between the exact multiplier output with that of the other approximate multiplier output. So there is a uh, there is a term or uh, there is an index called as PSNR, which is power uh, of the signal noise ratio in terms of dBs and we can cle clearly see that the exact multiplier and then uh, the approximate multipliers gives us very very similar results for all the images. The cameraman images is one which is shown here, 5.58, uh, 5.58 uh, you know even the approximate multiplier shows the same results. If I use a different uh, image as OpenCV logo I will uh, get the similar results and if I use a different LENA image also we will get the similar uh, PSNR values. So using the approximate multipliers doesn't uh, degrade uh, the PSNR that much. Uh, it, it gives us the value similar to that of uh, using the exact multiplier, right? So in this particular uh, uh, lecture, what we had seen is uh, two approximate adders which have been uh, used to design the approximate multipliers, right? And then uh, so we also uh, we also uh, show we also we also went through. Uh, the error characteristics as well as the hardware parameters characteristics. Hope you are able to understand this particular lecture.